Well, hello, hello. My name is Gant, and welcome back to Ace Academy. Last time, we had a fighting match with, um, show for our big-ass robots. <laughs> um, we were talking with Nikki, and we learned about Balonji, or whatever pasta we made. Uh, and I think that's it. I'm not really good at recapping, so please forgive me, you know? Okay, let's get back into it. I enter the house and hear laughter coming from the kitchen. I drop my bags on the floor and follow the sound of my family and the delicious smell of dinner. Hey! I sit at the table and watch Nikki and Uncle Kaito move around the kitchen. They're wearing matching aprons. Looking good, Uncle. That apron really suits you. It brings out your eyes. Dot 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 for Kaito. That's it, I'm done. <laughs> He tears off the apron and tosses it aside. You said I'd look cool. Nikki giggles and goes back to the food she's cooking. Well, you do look cool. Like, it was a compliment. It brings out your eyes. He is not having it. Just look, <laughs> just look at him. He's like, I am done with this. I am done with life. Just fucking, like, jump out the window. Ah! <laughs> I am done with everything. You did look cool. Every lady loves a man who can cook. Is that true, ladies? Is that true? Because I can cook. I can cook eggs. Kind of. And pasta. Is that good? I could cook. Come on. Please love me. <laughs> and I love a lady who can cook for me. And I love a lady who cooks for me. Amen. Mm-hmm. Kaito sits beside me. We laugh as Nikki sticks her tongue out at us. Men. So, what are we having? Guess. Oh god, not this again. Kaito laughs. How was your day, bud? It was alright. Yeah? What kind of shenanigans did you get up to? Nothing major. Had a class this morning. Checked out my gear after. One of my teammates showed up and we had a practice simulation. Sounds fun. It was. I think we'll make a good team. Who else is on the team? Show, myself, and a couple of girls. Good looking girls? Hell yeah. <laughs> I shrug. Yeah, I guess. Kaito winks at me and just sh and I just shake my head. Nikki places a plate. Eh. Sorry. Nikki places full plates in front of us, then removes her apron and joins us at the table. What else did you get up to today? I hung out at the pilot's lounge for a bit. That sounds cool. Yeah, it was. I actually learned a lot about this guy named Ak Akira. He's a top tier pilot in the program. So he's your rival. How does that make him my rival? Like, I'm not that good shit. <laughs> Rival. Rivalry. <laughs> yeah, these types of stories always need a villainous rival. Ooh. Um, well, he's actually a pretty nice guy. Well liked. Really? Is he cute? Um, how should I know? Did the girls think he was cute? Mm, I guess so. Nikki beams. Accomplished, polite, and cute. You could learn a thing from him. Okay, first of all, um, I'm not accomplished because I'm a failure in life. I'm pretty polite. And for cute, nah, I'm fucking ugly. So, I got polite down? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Nothing. the fucking burp. Kaito cleans his place, then rests a hand on his stomach and lets out a loud bletch. Bletch? Nikki and I blink at him. I was simply complimenting the chef. I should do the same. I open my mouth to burp, but Nikki squeals in protest. Please don't. I'd rather not have them. Kaito and I laugh as Nikki clears the table. Then Kaito rests his hands on my shoulder. Sounds like you've had quite the day, bud. 
It'll get easier once I'm in the swing of things. Of course. Want to watch a movie or something before you two head to bed? Ooh. I almost say yes, but a long yawn escapes my mouth. <sighs> I'm pretty fried. I think I'll go review some notes and get to bed early. I got qualifiers tomorrow. That's fair. Nikki? I'll join you when I'm done cleaning. I'll help you. Thanks. I stand up and Kaito and Nikki both wave. Good night. Good night. I wave back and head to my room. In my room, I qual- I- I qual- I qual- <laughs> I crawl into bed and grab my tablet to review my notes from today's class. I'm only part way through when my eyes grow heavy and I can't read any longer. I flick off the lights and close my eyes. As I drift to sleep, I dream of tomorrow's qualifiers. Per usual, I am awoken by the blare of my alarm, but today I didn't hesitate to get out of bed. I have a really busy day ahead of me, and I can't afford to lounge around. I get dressed and head downstairs. As I pass Nikki's room, I notice her door is open and her room is empty. She must be in the kitchen. When I reach the kitchen, no one is there. Uncle Kaito is gone before I wake up, but usually Nikki is around. There must be something going on at her school today, which is why she left early. I fix myself a quick breakfast and scarf, scarf, and scarf it down. Then I hop on my bike and head to school. Dun, dun, dun. Once I reach campus, I navigate to my class easily. Hey, I'm getting used to this place. The class is mostly full by the time I arrive, and all of the seats in the back are taken. I spot an empty seat close to the window by the front of the room. Ooh, who are you? As I sit down, the girl beside me with bright pink hair glances briefly in my direction. A few minutes later, the professor enters the room and heads straight for the front of the desk. Welcome to History 201. Today we'll be covering... Ooh, I love fucking history. Is this gear history? Is it like the history of gears? Or is it just gonna be like, uh, eh, just history in general, you know? The lesson lasts a while, but the material is not bad. We only have a few minutes before class ends, but your first assignments will be a group project on a case study of your choice. Since it's the first day of class, I'll be assigning your partners. Okay. She points to pairs of students sitting next to each other. Finally, she reaches me. You and you are partners. She points to me and the pink-haired girl besides me. We look at each other and she gives me a friendly smile. Man, I've, I never really did a project. Um, I was put in like a, a group project. Um, What was it? I was taking um, political science, right? They put me in a group project, and I'm like, group projects? Like, I don't like talking to people at all, and like, these people, like, I'm probably not gonna meet them again because I wasn't really into political science. I just went there just to check out the class, but I'm like, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. So I backed out <laughs> without telling them, like, hey guys, I'm gonna back out. I just did it, and I never saw them again. <laughs> like, seriously, you don't put someone in a group project, like, the first day, you know? This is bullshit. <laughs> we look at each other and she gives me a friendly smile. She seems nice enough. Your project will be due next week. Class dismissed. The classroom is a buzz with a shuffle of students. I turn towards my partner. Hi, I'm Ga. She smiles warmly. I'm Yuna. Pleased to meet you. Her eyes flick to my stripes. You must be new. Yeah? How did you know? I tend to know most of the pilots here. Although her uniform fits her like a glove, it's 
It is severely lack in stripes. You aren't a pilot, are you? He laughs lightly. No, I've just worked with a lot of them. I'm a pilot health and physiotherapy student. That's a mouthful. He laughs again. Yeah, PHPT for short. Anyway, what do you think our topic should be? Um... Why is this one in green, man? Pioneering pilots. The evolution of gears. Well, he's like a psychology major, right? Or whatever the fuck he just said right now. So whatever this green bullshit is. What if we focus more on the psychological impact of the development and growth of cyber... Senor... Senor robotics as a field? Look at her, he's... Uh, <laughs> she seems nice, I'm not gonna lie. Ma she's a nice lady. Her face lights up. Absolutely! This could also delve into social impact and how society is adapting to the growth of this field, such as the development of new specialties, like studies in pilot health. That should be right up your alley. What about you? Are you okay with that? It sounds interesting to me too. Yuna smiles. It sounds like we have our topic. Yeah, I'm feeling good about this. Me too. We're going to have a great project. Hell yeah. By this time, most of the class has already caught up with their partners and left the room. We should probably do the same. There might be another class that needs this room. Anyway, we should probably get going. Yeah, you're right. I begin to gather my things when Yuna interrupts me. Wait, may I have your number? <gasps> Is she asking for my number? I never had anyone to ask for my number, man. This is... This is beautiful. Smirk. Did a girl just ask me for my number? Why does she want to know? No, no, no. You gotta... You gotta play cool. Give my number. 865309. Yuna blinks and furrows her brow. Um... Aren't you missing some numbers? She gives me a strange look. If you don't want to give me your number, I'll understand. Sorry, that was my old American number. Let me give you my new number. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> That's so stupid, like... There's supposed to be more numbers. Wait, how are the phone numbers in Japan? Like, what the f- <laughs> Isn't that like acceptable? Like six numbers, right? No, like seven numbers, right? No? I don't know, man. We quickly change numbers and gather our things. Man, I was like, let's play this cool and shit. And it's like, um, if you don't want me to give you my phone number. No, if you don't want to give your phone number, then it's all right. You don't have to. Man, I thought I was like trying to be like, nonchalant like here's my number don't worry about it you know but no i was like <laughs> never mind my phone vibrates as we leave the classroom i glance at her wondering if she already sent me a text but she doesn't have her phone out when i pull out my phone i see an unread message from show <clears throat> let's see if i can do like a voice big news brosif we're in the first phase of qualifier matches Team is meeting at the hangar. Having my first official team meeting should be interesting. Although, I feel a couple of flutters in my stomach. I'm more excited than nervous to see everyone. Everyone. Once we're outside, Yuna turns towards me. Do you have any more classes today? No, but I'm headed for the hangar. I gotta meet my team before the qualifiers. She nods. Good luck. Thanks! We wave and head our separate ways. By the time I arrive at the hangar, the team is already waiting by Sho's gear. Damn, why do you look so pissed? Look at her! And, okay, she's the only one smiling. Mayu's the only one smiling. Sho's like, eh! And fucking Cowdy's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck 
fucking here? You're fucking late! Mai is the first to notice me and gives me a small wave. Kaori and Sho seems to be arguing about something, but Sho silences her when I arrive. Hey guys! Kaori glances at me and nods. At least you aren't late. Brosif, you made it! I came as soon as I could. Ayo! It wasn't really a choice. No, the first one. I left as soon as I got your text. Big news, right? Yeah, we got our assigned time slot. When is it? Later. Right now, we need to practice. Understood. All right. Head to your gears and turn on your simulators. Let's see what we're working with. Wait, before we go, how exactly do these matches work? It's based on how many points you accumulate. We'll be competing against pre-programmed AI gears. Who are like boss level difficult to defeat. And our score is calculated by how many we beat, along with how well we fought overall. So things like accuracy, how many hits we take, tactics, teamwork, those are all added up. So how many points are all of those things worth? They don't share with us the exact breakdown, but everyone knows that defeating the AI gives you a buttload of points. Now hurry up and get in your gear. We really need to practice before it's our turn. I. She turns to her heels and and the rest of us disperse. I'm in the robot. Oh my god. Dude, imagine having robots, man. I'll be like the first one to get one. Or be like, sign me up. Military anything, man. I want to get in these fucking robots. <laughs> Fuck it, man. I'll sell both of my kidneys just to get a fucking robot. That would be dope, you know what I mean? After reaching my gear, I boot up the simulation. The usual stats flow across my screen, but something about them seems off. Cowdy's voice comes through the comm. Where are your weapons? I don't know. Let me see if it's something in, in the settings. Why didn't you do a comprehensive check on your gear? I did. It didn't scan weaponry, since it's not part of the mech's um... So it's not part of the med's core function. Your combat gear doesn't have weapon reset as a core function during checks. I never run into this issue before, although she does make a good point. I try every setting combination I can think of, but my weapons are still aren't registering. Try waiting a minute. Sometimes there's a lag while your gear warms up. There shouldn't be a lag. We wait anyway. After a few minutes, it's clear my weapons are going to show up. I don't know what's going on. Do you even have weapons? Of course I do. Then where are they? Suddenly, Mayu's soft voice cuts through. Maybe they're still being processed at customs? I've heard that gear and their accessories are processed separately. That makes sense. How long... How long will it take them to process? I... I don't know. Too long! We need those weapons now! Don't worry, it'll be okay. No, it won't! How will we fight without weapons? I'll figure something out. Let's start the match. We're running out of time. Fine. Everyone ready? Everyone's calm relay blinks green in affirmina- Affirmin- Affirmation. <laughs> what the All fuck? right, let's start! Ooh. Look at these stupid ass, stupid ass white robots. We all get into position and square off to take on the AIs. My closest enemy charges me with swords raised. Dodge. Can I just take the sword like, just fucking like punch him, take the sword and just, ah, just stab him. I barely managed to sidestep out of the way. This doesn't. This does not botch well. I retaliate with an uppercut and a punch to the sore perplex, which doesn't, which does some damage, but nowhere near the crushing blow I received. The AI shakes off my attack and immediately swings again. Defend. As I raise my arm in defense, as its sword sends another wave of shimmer, of shimmers over my shields. Using my free hand, I jab at the AI side. 
Just as before, Eagle takes an alarming amount of damage while my attack on the AI barely phases it. I dodge and block most, most attacks, however, I can't return any attacks and I can only defend. Fuck. With my energy core gradually depleting, it doesn't take much for the AI to wipe me out. Without a fourth teammate, my team barely manages to win. We all shut off our simulators and climb out of our gear. Fuck, she's gonna yell at me. Look, look at her face. Just, they're like, mm, I just look at her, she's just gonna yell at me right now. I start to head back towards the team, but they all get to me first. We can't play a match like that! We hardly scored any points! Don't worry, Kauri. I'm sure he'll have his equipment soon. Not soon enough! The match is today! Maybe he shouldn't compete. We can tell them we have four members, but one of our gears is in no condition to fight. Mayu looks at her determin determinately. No, he has to. It's the only way. Sho looks apologetic at me. Look, maybe you should just hang back. Without weapons, the AIs will ruin you. I can still help us gain points. No, Sho is right. You have to hang back. That will maximize our qualifier points, which is what's important right now. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Like, they're all going out of battle, right? And I'm just gonna be like in the back, just like doing punches in the air, like shadow boxing and shit. <laughs> I'm doing something, guys. I'm doing something. <laughs> oh, fuck. I I don't know why, but I make myself laugh with the visuals I'm thinking. And you're probably just sitting there like, Um, yeah? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. I make myself laugh with my own stupid ass jokes. Shell stares in shock. Did you just agree with me? Not now, Shell. You never agree with me! Why don't you just talk to someone, see if they're w you can get weapons right now? Like go to like a customs office or whatever. Idiot! Why do you keep saying that? Justin, a group of engineers comes towards us. What are your gears still doing here? Say what? They've got to be prepped for the next match. That means we're next. Let's go. How about I tell this fucker like, hey. I don't have weapons. Can you put them on real fast or give me something? Give me a gun. Give me a M4. I'm sorry, we don't have M4s. Give me a fucking the Springfield rifles. Give me something like World War II or whatever. You know what I mean? What about our gears? The engineers will handle it. The engineers disperse towards our gears. My team splits up to head to the locker room. We quickly change into our combat uniform. Luckily, I kept my old one from the States. I follow Sho into the pre-combat room, which was a small room connecting the locker room and the arena. The space feels cramped. Crouch couches line the walls with a round table in the center. I barely have time to take in the room when Kaori and Mayu walk in dressed in equally stint type suits which hugs their every curves. So sleek. Me likey. No comment. Show's care package drop zone appears to be flatlined. Your suits are so cool! Kaori gives me a strange look. Mayu looks a little surprised. Um, thank you? No problem. You two look great. Cowdy narrows her eyes. Okay. While most pilot suits don't differ from each other, the Japanese models have always, always have a little more aerodynamic feel to them. This is my first time I had a chance to see the suits up close and... Stop staring! What? Mayu's eyes widen and she crosses her arms over her chest. I didn't think you were like that. No, it's just that those suits look good on you. We got what you meant. 
And we don't appreciate your staring. Okay, this is... Come on, Mayu. Let's go before he says something else he regrets. She pulls Mayu close to her and the two of them head to the table. Rookie move, Brosif. Fuck off. No, seriously, I wasn't looking at them like that. Wait, that didn't really come out right. Sho just shakes his head. Everyone's got to wear these suits. You're making it weird. I follow them to the table. What about my suit? Like, it's like, look at my suit. Like, it looks a tiny leather jacket or something. <laughs> I don't know. If it's like America, American made, it'll just fucking look like, I don't know, like a, like a combat, like army one, but like maybe a little different. I don't know. The material of like the, the combat army shit, like without the vest and everything. But, like, all black or, like, one solid color. Like a jumpsuit. Oh, shit. He follows them to the table. I approach the table. Cowdy hits a button on the side. What brings up a hologram of the arena battlefield. Four impressive gears pop up. Pop up on the right side of the field. And four smaller gears populate the other side. Cowdy points to the right. These are the enemy AI gear we'll be battling. She points to the other side. This is us. The AIs are programmed to be a challenge. So it's important that we stick to the plan and work together to take them out. Mayu speaks up, her expression solemn. The gears we are facing against are specifically engineered for Ace Academy qualifier matches. They change yearly to make sure they can't be beat using a systematic approach. With a click flicker of her finger, Mayu zooms into the AI gear hologram Detects the st statistics on the AI battle armament and pops and parts pop up besides the gears. It looks like we have two Class A close combat and two Class A long range support gears. Cowdy nods, reaching her hands into the holographic field. She shuffles our gears into position on the map. Knowing all that, Sho and I will blitz the melee gears to give Mayu some breathing room. She will focus on suppressive fire on their back line. That should give us enough time to finish off the two gear and engage for the remaining ones. Mayu and Sho both nod in agreement. Kaori pulls the last gear towards the back of <laughs> pulls out the last gear towards the back of the edge of the map, then looks pointedly at me. This is where you will be. Don't get yourself killed. I look at her flatly. But I don't dispute her. The map flashes red and the door to the arena slides open. So's face light up in excitement and he practically leaps towards the door. That's our cue to get out there. Does everyone understand the plan? No. We all nod. Okay, then let's go. Taking a deep breath, I follow Sho and the rest of my team to our ready gears. While in our gears, we walk into the circular arena. Students, sponsors, professors, and other general specta spectators fill the stadium. A large screen display our every moves for those sitting in the back. A hush falls over the crowd as we get into place. The energy is a bit lower than usual for a live match. Probably because this is technically still an examination. Across from us, the four enemy AIs enter. Everyone good? Yeah, they look like little bitches. We're gonna take them out. Well, you guys are gonna take them out. I'm gonna just do shadow boxing in the back. <laughs> the calm lights up green again. The best way to help is stick with the plan. With me out of sight, I won't risk putting them in into a compensating position that can cause a lose of a- whatever the first one, okay? I can't read all of it. Following Cowdy's plan, I hang back, away from the action. My teammates get into position. Mayu falls behind Sho and Cowdy, who leads the attack. Cowdy and Sho weaves between the melee mechs and run interference, alternating blasts and defense as distractions. Mayu darts from cover to cover until she is in position, then she lines up a sniper shot for the melee AI. For a while, they're able to keep up the rhythm. A rhythm. 
Oh shit, that guy was like really close. A sudden high-powered row beam from Mayu instantly depowers one of the, the, uh, the melee AIs. Nice one, Mayu! Three more to go! Ooh shit, Mayu, let go! The ranged AI locks onto Mayu. She runs for a only available cover, but doesn't make it in time. Just before the blast hits her, Sho intercepts the shot, taking the damage himself. Sorry, I'm down. Oh, sh really? Cowdy dashes towards the range gear and takes it out with a single powerful string swing. There's a class A melee gear inbound for my location. Got it. As Cowdy races towards her. Mayu dodges it and swings from the enemy mech. Cowdy, what's your ETA? Almost there! My rider just pinged. The range AI is- no, the range geared is- Cowdy! <laughs> A fury of beams sap through Cowdy's shield and depowers her gear. The AI mech must have- have repositioned itself to Cowdy's minimal, minimal defense arc. Defended arc. I don't think I've ever seen program gears do something so strategic. Sorry, I'm down too. I'm not kitted to handle melee engagements. Okay, I'm fucked. With the rest of my team depowered, the remaining AI gear slowly turns to face me. So, about that plan. Um, maybe you could try to negotiate with them? <laughs> Stop joking around! We still need to boost our score! Go deal as much damage as you can! Easier said than done. I mumble to myself as I ready my fists for the impending combat. The AI gears waste no time and boost towards me with their raised weapon. With their weapons raised. Um, dodge. <laughs> Their blades swing through the air as I dodge out of the way. While the first AI recovers from its miss, I punch it to the side. Its shields barely even shimmer from the impact. The gear then smashes the butt of his sword into me, catching me off guard and causing more damage than I would have liked. Uh, fucking block. I raise my arms and strengthen my shields to block the, gr the attack, but I still drive. Eh. But I'm still driven a- Eh, fuck, I can't read- <laughs> Sorry about that, man. Ah, oh, I can't read right now. But I'm still driven back from the force of the double blow. Digging my heels to the into the ground, I barely have time to register the next upcoming attack. Evade. I sidestep out of the way, and their swords slice through empty air. Taking advantage of their moment for recovery, I land a punch to the side of one of the AIs, but my attacks barely registers. The second AI strikes me, catching me unaware, and my shields flash dangerously from the blow. This is not good. The two AIs quickly recover and aim for another attack. Slow? I'm too slow to react, and my heels dig into the ground as I am pushed back from the force of their attack. My shield shimmers as it absorbs the blow. This is like our training match all over again. I'm only able to hold out for a short time as most of my core energy is used to de dodge two gears at once. Shields offline. Power core at 1%. This is not good. The AI melee raises its blades. Ego's not responding. Is this how it it'll end? Emergency power core protocol sequence initiated. Wait, what? In my cockpit, all of the lights shine on at once. Statistics and numbers I have never seen before scrolls across my displays. Ooh. Okay, now that looks badass. Look at me. Fucking. Optimus Prime, engage! A thunderous boom catches my attention and a surge of explosion energy shoves the 
shoves the attacking AI 10 feet apart, 10 feet away. I look out and see a, sh a, shla sh a shallow crater around Eagle. Ooh. Protocol sequence complete. Energy output over 9,000. <laughs> it's over 9,000! What? No external weaponry detected. Activating energy fists. Oh man, please let it glow. My hands are glowing! Energy Eagle's arms glow faintly. Engaging enemy gear. Okay, D. Ah! Booyah! What should I say for my final attack? Okay, um... Fuck yeah! Bam! Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, man! Gear destroyed. Engaging secondary target. Ah! Fuck yeah! Oh man, I should have just put "fuck you, puto." <laughs> that would have been another cool one. This is awesome. Power core can no longer sustain output. Eagle depowering. Whew! Just barely managed to pull that off. Qualifier match complete. Please exit the arena with your gear. The crowd is quiet for a moment before erupting in deafening cheers. Ha huh, yeah, I'm the best. Uh, uh, you know me, it's motherfucking gat. Motherfucking gat. Outside of the arena, Sho claps me on the back, nearly knocking me off balance. Even Mayu offers me a handshake. Kaori trails behind, looking unusually thoughtful. That was amazing! You totally saved us back there, Brosif! Thanks! You did okay, but only because we helped you so much. Are you kidding? Between the three of us, we took down two. He took down two on his own! You have to admit that's more than okay! At least you followed the plan. Of course I did. It's because I'm sensitive to your needs. It was a stupid plan. Of course I did. That's what we agreed upon. Like, the fuck? Why would I change that? Well, now we know you can follow directions. That's more than I can say for show. Ooh. Hey! We still would have scored better if you were properly equipped. I'm not worried about that anymore. Why not? Because he's got that amazing core thing! If it's alright for me to ask, how did you do that? Yeah, what exactly was that max power mode thing anyway? Why didn't you tell us you could do that when we ran the simulation? Because I didn't know. I would have if I have known about it. Is that sarcasm? Lady, shit, no. No, I'm just as surprised as you guys. Huh? Mayu and Sho blinks. You mean you did that by accident? Yeah, basically. That's some accident. Could you do it again? I really don't know. Maybe? Hmm. I don't like the thoughtful look on her face. The crackle of the intercom interrupts us. Thank you to everyone who participated. The first phase of matches have been completed. Show grins. Alright, round one complete! Victory party at my place? Sorry, Show. I've got some place to be. Really? Where? N none of your business! It's not like you have any other friends. Ooh. Yes, I do! Who? You just don't know them. <coughs> Fuck. Is it because they aren't real? They're imaginary. I do have friends. They're... They're in another nation. My imagination. <laughs> Cowdy raises her fist. I'll show you real. 
Shell jumps away. It was a joke, I'm sorry! Whatever! I need to go before I'm late anyway. See you, Mayu. Mayu waves as Kaori disappears around the corner. So what about you two? Mayu, Mayu smiles but shakes her head. I wish I could, but father is visiting tonight. He will be very eager to hear about today's match. Tell him hi for me. She nods, says goodbye to the both of us and leaves. Party of two? What do you say? Before I can answer, Sho gets a text. Hold on. He quickly reads over the message. Actually, we might need a rain check on that party. Motherfucker, you're the one who fucking... <sighs> Never mind. What's up? It's just Takashi. He set yet another trash can bonfire. What? It's no big deal. They just had to evacuate everyone in the building. Anyway, since I'm temporarily homeless, I'm gonna go hang out in the rec center. Uh, uh okay. Alright. I guess I'll let you handle that then. He nods. Looks like farewells are in order. Good night to you then, Mr. Brosif. Why the fuck you keep calling me Brosif? What the fuck? Yeah, you too. After saying goodbye, I head towards the parking lot. And I am going to end it there. <laughs> ah, man, this is a good game. Fuck, man. We did so much today. Ugh. But I'm going to end it there. Because I just got out of work, what was it, like two hours ago, man. And I'm still pretty tired, so I'm going to end it there. So if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification to see whenever I post a video, and leave a comment. Alright man, or lady, or girl, or non-binary, it doesn't really matter. Well, this is it. This is farewell, and as always, bye bye.